I recently made a video about how happy I was in purchasing this. This is Eulogens Gen 2 3.1 Type-C, 10 gigabit speed PCIe card. It fits into your X16 slot, and it allows you to use up to 10 gigabit speed on connections with external devices. Now, I purchased this thinking I solved that issue of the USB disconnecting from the X570 boards. Until they fix that whole debacle, I have a solution to my issues. And uh, it did. It, it, it works. However, the problem happens where you buy one of these bad boys and you try to then adjust with this one and connect it to the X1 with an extender thinking it'll just slow down and you'll be fine. You'll still be using everything, but uh, it doesn't work that way now, does it? Of course not. Uh, before you buy one of these, let's talk about the why and what you should be buying. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nico. So today we're continuing our conversation about the whole issue with USBs disconnecting from X570 motherboards. Uh, the rig in the back is what I'm building and I've been tweaking and making it better and better. And long behold, you spend all of these thousands of dollars and you can't even connect your, you know, camera and other external devices and what a piss off. So along the lines, and in accordance to that last video I made, I'll leave the link below, I did talk about what I purchased, and this is the Eulatang's PCIe card. It's got the 3.1 Gen 2. It's got a Type-C. It runs 10 gigabit speed, and this works great. So I'm not, you know, putting these guys down at all. If you connect this into your X16 slot, you are good to go because this is an X4, and it will work, and you're good. No complaints. The issue happens when you're looking at your motherboard, and you only have one X16 slot, you don't have two, and now you're thinking about, hey, I need another drive because of my workflow, and you get one of these cards. Now, these cards have an X16 slot. There are other ones that have uh, X4 as well, but you you know, you know, put your NVMe drive in here, and it runs at top speed in that X16 slot, and it's awesome. I can't complain. However, when you try to plug this now into your X1 slot using one of these connectors that goes into the X1, and then this goes into your X4, like so, and now your assumption is that this should work no problem, but a gigabit speed instead of 10 gigabit speed. I'm okay with that. I don't have a problem with that. And I thought it was doing that. It does work. So I connect everything up. Everything is rolling. No complaints. Um, but then uh, I started loading a video and I'm like, why is it so slow? Well, conflicts, situations arise where parts don't really want to work together. So to test out this conflict, so everybody's aware, uh, where I found my conflict was with the Wi-Fi. So I'm doing a speed test here and I'm getting an averaging around just under 500 megabits per second uh, on the uh, download. And then we'll do this test on the upload uh, where I'm about 140. Now this is with the card disconnected. So we don't have it connected yet. And what is occurring here is that we're getting a normal speed. It should be higher because I have a uh, gigabit speed internet, but and I'm getting it on my laptop, but since the last update that was done with Asus for the BIOS to fix this USB issue, I've, I've dropped here significantly and um, I'm talking with them about it. However, that's not our issue. Uh, that's just pointing out that the average does drop. And what we then do is uh, come into the AS Media USB 3.1 controller here, I will enable this now, and this will now uh, start to work. So the card is enabled. I do a quick run, and what we'll notice here with Wi-Fi speed, it starts to tank, and we can see that speed just start to get eliminated here, uh, almost half, and uh, it will start to go down. Now, you'll notice at first, as a conflict starts, uh, that you just half it, or maybe a third of it, or maybe you still have speed on the download, but on the upload, you start to see the decrease. And there is a decrease starting to happen here. Um, the idea then becomes, well, what is occurring? The conflict just happened, and we're having a big conflict with uh, the data being moved. Um, let me just run this again for you, and you'll now see the actual, so we saw that pick up there, and now you'll see this actual uh, slowdown happen. And this is what you're gonna be getting. 
and that's where you notice, oh, there's an issue. Now, does the card work this way? Yes, it does. The, the card does work. So I can do the transfer rates. Um, I was getting, I have a, a USB-C um, with a NVMe drive that runs at a, about a gigabit speed. It runs no problem. I'm getting 800 to 900 megabytes uh, per second transfer rate. So I mean, you're, you're okay. You're okay. So this is, so it does work, but then you have this conflict. Now, what's the conflict and why are we having this conflict? Uh, going back to the controller and doing more research, I start to dive into the idea of um, uh, how this is all picking up with the drivers. And I see that, you know, this should have the ASM 3142. The AS, ASM 3142 is the uh, controller it should have, but Windows is picking it up as a 2142 when it's in the slot. And this is an issue, I guess, that how do you fix it? Well, you go and you start to download the drivers and try to install them. And at the same time, when you see this not working, you head over to the uh, profile here or the, the page to see what's happening. And we also head over to the StarTech one, which is like double the price. And we're like, why was this double the price in the first place? And you know, we ended up going with the uh, Yule tank because it was cheaper. But what we do discover here is the differences are that um, you, you're looking at the speeds and then you compare that it does not work on the X1, X2 slots. So it, it actually tells you it doesn't work. The StarTech, on the other hand, does not tell you this. Um, my understanding then becomes that it is a different driver and it is a different chipset that's being used. So we now start to analyze this and we head over to the Alibaba website just so we can confirm everything, see where they're getting these drive, these uh, PCI cards from. We do find it and we see that this is the exact same one, just a red color. Uh, it's, you know, 15 bucks and bought it for 29, not bad. Uh, as I scroll down, I do see that it is not, it's based you know, it's compatible with X4, X8, X16, not supported on X1, X2. So the idea here would be that it's not supported. It wouldn't be causing big conflicts and it's causing some big conflicts. When you look at more of these that exist here on Alibaba, some of these, like I've seen them on uh, Amazon, they don't list them that they don't support the X1 slot. Then there's some other ones where when you scroll through, they don't even say it. And then you're sitting there going, okay, would this work? And yeah, it's a trial and error, I guess. It's uh, They're not telling you if it works or it doesn't, but this one definitely has that it doesn't. I should have read that. Um, but I, at the same time, I was like, I'm okay with less speed. I just need to be able to connect something and not have an issue of it disconnecting, which it did that, it did that. But when we, you know, we decide, hey, we're going to switch over, then that's the issue you know, we're to X1 and it doesn't work. And now we got a problem. At the same time, when you're looking at this price point and say, you know, say StarTech works, um, that's great, but it's double the money. And at that point, why not go and purchase something uh, that is just, you know, double that price uh, for us. And these are all Canadian prices. So you guys uh, in the States are about 30% less. So you'd be looking at, you know, 20 bucks for one of these Yulu tangs and then, you know, 55 or $50 for the uh, StarTech. And then you jump over to Gigabit, this should be around like, what, 95 bucks for you guys. And you can see that Asus makes some for their Intel uh, motherboards. Uh, AgeRock makes one too. So all these companies are making them. You need to make sure that you have this work on your, your board and you can use this with the headers and all that. But I mean, again, if you have a fourth slot or a third slot, and then you have your other two slots where the X ones, and you're saying to yourself, I just want to be able to use one of these cards in there, the, the conflict is there. And that, that's the, the big issue here. And then the question is, why not just upgrade to one of these, depending on what you're trying to do? In my case, I was trying to get this thing to work with the uh, the NVMe drive, and it's you know it's it's not working there. To conclude, is this recommended? Yes, it is recommended. If you need to fix your problem with a USB issue or you need extra USBs, this will work. Just make sure it's in the X16 slot. Bottom line, if you're planning on buying anything like this and you only have one slot for the X16 and you're planning on then doing one of these that has worked for me in the past, it didn't work this time with this, well, then you have to do your research, find one of the other ones that don't say X4, X8, X16, 
give it a shot, see if it works, and then go from there. I'm not gonna be doing this. One of my USBs, C's, Type C's is working right now, uh, temporarily, so um, with the last BIOS update. So unless something goes terribly wrong, I'm not gonna be trying anymore. If you do have one of the other ones, leave uh, the uh, comment below on what works, what doesn't and of course um you know any other suggestions out there that i could try i would definitely definitely appreciate it